hurt my finger. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sky Anjane. If you're new here and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty and a little bit of lifestyle. So if you clicked on this video, that means you're interested on how I get these beautiful, soft, voluminous curls. So let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be using my one and a half inch Marcel curling iron because all I know how to do is use the Marcel. If you watched my last curl tutorial or my, my other curl tutorial on my channel, I used the, the curling iron that just has that one little thumb piece thingy. Couldn't do it, it was a disaster. I high key did not even like the way my hair turned out, but I had to get the video posted. So yeah, I'm using the one and a half inch because we're doing soft curls and we want them quite large and soft. We're just gonna start from the back. As far as your sectioning, make sure it's about the same size as your curling iron. So because I'm using a one and a half inch, my sections are gonna be a little larger because again we're doing soft curls and this also like this method also works with any type of curling iron it doesn't have to be a Marcel because I know everyone isn't used to using that but yeah you can use any type of curling iron you can even use a wand but we'll we might do that in another video but we just go focus on this one and a half inch barrel you want to make sure that you're keeping the piece that opened up facing forward because we're curling our hair outwards and that's going to make sure your curls are outward and if you notice I'm keeping my curling iron horizontal just because that's going to give us that bouncy curl instead of like more of a beachy wave curl and I'm just I'm like I'm touching it to make sure the curl itself, the hair itself is hot. That's how you know your curl is done. If it's like hot to touch, and then we let it fall. <laughs> I'm trying not to burn myself too, but it has. <laughs> I have been known to burn myself every time I curl my hair, but my curls come out bob every time, so maybe that's the key. Like, I don't burn my clients because I'm professional and I know what I'm doing. But myself, I kind of rush when it comes to my own hair. Um, I think I'm going to make this one section because, yeah, we just going to do this one section. You know what makes these soft curls compared to like other curls is one we're not setting them so if I was doing bouncy like bombshell curls I would pin these I wouldn't even let them fall I would pin them straight out of the curling iron oh gosh I'm about to get the hiccups I be having to hold my breath when I feel myself catching the hiccups because I can't. Anyway, I'm not setting the curls and I'm going to be using a brush when I finish to brush them out. So that's what makes them soft curls. They're not being set so they're not going to be as tight. You know, gravity is going to pull these bad boys down as I go. So that's why they're soft. They're looser. Don't get me wrong, like, soft curls are my favorite because, like, they're just, I don't know, they just last longer to me. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just a timeless look to me. So, that's why soft curls are my favorite, but I'm going to do a bombshell bouncy curl, too. The only thing you really won't see me doing to my hair is straightening it. Like, I don't hate straight hair but I am a curly I need some type of movement 
Well, I mean, my hair moves with in a straight, but I need some type of flow. I need some type of like, I don't know, curl, curled hair is just more feminine to me. Again, horizontal. And I think after this curl, I'm just speed it up because by this point, you should get you should get the picture. So we just will speed up until we get to the top. Okay, now that we're at this top curl, I'm going to show you the technique that's going to give you that, like, face volume. Just, just wait. We're going to, like, elevate the hair a little bit. Curl back. Still so using, like I said, using them same tips. The outside, the movable part of the curling iron was facing forward. So we can curl it out away to, from our face. And I am still holding it horizontal to my head. The difference is we started forming our curl closer to the roots. And that's what's gonna, that's really where the volume is going to come. And as you can see, like soft curls don't take long at all. Like maybe a good 15, 20 minutes. Because I'm left-handed and I'm working on, I'm working on the left side of my head, so my angles are literally gonna look so weird, but I'm still doing the same steps. Like, nothing has changed. We're just, we have to adjust to the other side of our head. Now that we do have our curls all curled up and stuff, I am gonna add a little bit of got to me just, I don't know, for poops and giggles. I don't, ooh, that sounds weird. I wanna curse, so I ain't wanna say in giggles, but you know what I'm trying to say. And we're gonna take a regular hairbrush, like not a paddle brush, not a um, feather comb, not any of that a regular hairbrush. Now we finna brush these boys out. Baby. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand what like curls do to me. Mm. Like, I'm looking in the mirror. Y'all looking at me. I'm just... <clears throat> ooh, ooh, I just burned my finger. What I told y'all, like, that's, that's the trick. If I don't burn myself, the curls ain't popping in. Baby, these curls is, it's, it's doing it, it's doing it. I'm gonna take this. I have barely anything in here. I'm gonna take this shine spray from Mazzani. It's just to shine this in, just to give me a little va va boom. You know, I don't need it, cause y'all, y'all see this. Y'all see it, y'all see it. I hope y'all love it as much as I love it. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in my content. I'll see you in the next video.